my YouTube family. It's been a minute since I came and did a little chit chat with y'all. Um, just want to give y'all some quick hair tips. Um, I stay here in Raleigh, North Carolina, and these temperatures are dropping. You hear me? These temperatures are dropping. So I'm just give y'all three quick um, hair tips just to keep in mind for the fall. Um, and if you're in a cooler area and if you have natural hair, the first thing I want to say is moisture 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 where does moisture come from water so in order with the and i'm sitting in my car I'm on my lunch break the wind is blowing so if y'all see me looking around you know what i'm saying checking the scenes you know what i'm saying gotta be safe out here but yeah moisture so when i say moisture and the reason why i keep saying water is because um moisture comes from water and so with the natural hair community what i hear a lot and see a lot as a natural hairstylist is my hair is always dry so first thing we want to keep in mind is that we are taking care of our bodies from the inside out so the first thing i always tell my clients and they know i always ask i know y'all get on y'all nerves with this did you drink some water today have you been drinking water that's the first thing because the way our scalp is our foundation so if we're not taking care of our bodies on the inside it shows through our hair so making sure you're drinking enough water i cannot say this enough drink your water when you're drinking your water you're being hydrated from the inside out okay so we want to drink our water so we're going to take care of the inside because you are what you eat you want to make sure that you're getting some vegetables in your diet some green leafy vegetables whatever kind of veg get some vegetables in there sis okay I ain't perfect, but I try to get a vegetable, some vegetables in me every day, okay? So get your vegetables in there. Other thing you want to do as far as like moisture, um, and I ain't going to give y'all too much, is making sure you're keeping your hair deep condition or come in for a stain treatment. So um, what this allows your hair to do is open up that hair shaft because sometimes with naturals, it's shut like that. So we need that heat to open it up so that moisture can get in there. And then you rinse it with cool water, lock it in, okay? So you might need to start increasing doing deep conditioners and stain treatments. Um, so that's the first tip with for the fall is um, dry hair. Second tip is maybe start doing more protective styles. Now, I feel two ways about protective, protective styles. I love them. As you can see, I have a protective style. I have in box braids right now. But just because you got a protective style don't, don't mean that you can skip out on taking care of your hair. Now, I still do moisturize my scalp and I actually moisturize my braids because my hair is, I have colored hair. So as you can see, you see my colored hair poking out. So I do take a moisturizer and I do rub it through my braids to make sure my um, hair is being moisturized. So you can do protective styles where your ends are protected. So maybe opt in for like, the uh, pin up do's, the um, two strand twist, pin them up, flat twist, pin them up, do a braided up do, do box braids, do crochet. And the reason why you want to protect your ends is because the ends is the oldest part of your hair. So what that means is more likely to split and get weaker. So in order to retain our length, we need to protect our ends. Now make sure you're not keeping these protective styles in until God come back, okay? be set free from your protective style because your hair needs real good shampoo when you're wearing braids like this i recommend at the max six to eight weeks okay and even when i got these braids in i have already shampooed my braids okay yes i shampoo my hair people are like, oh my braids are going to get old okay put you so i got a video on my youtube that say how to refresh your braids period clearly okay because we ain't doing dirty scalps and remember Moisture comes from what? Water. So we need to be shampooing our hair. Okay. Um, the third tip I'm gonna give you is make sure you're wearing a satin um, bonnet or silk scarf every night. I know people like Lisa, duh, we know that. No, some of y'all don't because some of y'all come to my salon and you're like, girl, I didn't tie my hair up for the last week because I knew I was coming to see you. Absolutely not. You need to tie it up every night. Okay, I don't care if it is dirty. Get you a, a bonnet that you use in between you getting your hair, coming in and get your hair washed. Make sure you're not drying it out more. So make sure you put it in there. 
Also, I just dropped some new bonnets. I have my very own bonnets. I'm gonna maybe do an insert at the end of this video so I can show you all my styles by Lisa Smiles silk bonnets so if you need a silk bonnet and you want to um, uh, rock the brand you can purchase your um bonnet by clicking the link i about to say click, clicking the link in my bio but really you can click the link in my description box to purchase your very own silk bonnet so those are just some quick hair tips um for the fall um hopefully these help um and yeah i'll maybe try to get up here more and just give y'all like some quick tips or just natural hair. But anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.